Hi guys, in this lecture, we'll talk about how we can use table widget in our systems. Table, I believe you are very well aware about the table. Table is just to show a list beta in a form of tabular view. Let me show you. This is the bootstrap and this is the bootstrap table, HTML table. In general, if we have to design a table using HTML, this is the code, this is the tag generally um, we, we write in HTML code. So we use the table table tag and we provide a proper class. This class belongs to bootstrap, bootstrap CSS. We, we just define the table head, then table body. Inside table body, we de design the row, then table header, uh, the header row and uh, um, and uh, TD, TD is just column. This is how we generally design a table in HTML. If we have to achieve the same in our systems, we have a table widget that we can directly use. Let me show you. This is the out systems and I have created the application and module and uh, screen. So if we have to uh, design a table, we'll require a list because the source of table is list. We can provide a list to table and table can render the columns of that list, right? So if we have to, uh, either we can create a hard coded list, uh, list or we can get something from database in a form of list. So let's try to get something from database. Let's try to get the user list from the database. So if we have to fetch the users from database, we can just right click to the screen and fetch data from database. When we do this, it adds one aggregate. Aggregate is simply simply when an advanced, not we'll say the advanced, it, it, it's just a, um, uh, it's just a widget, but that runs a query behind the screen. Ultimately, the aggregate is converted as a SQL query only in the um, uh, in the compiler engine behind the screen. Okay, so aggregate is a optimized version of SQL query. Our systems gives that in a form of widget. So uh, when we just uh, uh, when we just add a new aggregate, we will have to add the source source in the in the sense table. So our table will be user table. So let me just click here and I can just select the user table. This is the one way. Another way is directly I can just drag and drop the table. So user table belongs to the system module. I can drag and drop the user table. So it will come under the sources. Under the filter, we can apply a filter. Filter is just a where condition. Under the sorting, we can, um, we can uh, define a sorting. By adding a sort, we can sort by name and uh, in ascending order it is just order by clause and if we are just providing the dynamic values in filter so we can just provide a test value so that it will give um uh, it will give the data based on that particular test value so that as a developer we will come to know what result or what what this query will return okay that's it we have just introduced the widget um, aggregate and uh, we have defined the user as a source user entity as a source this aggregate will return the user list you see it is returning the user list and user will user list will have name username password email mobile number okay so if we have to uh, if we have to show this user list on ui will require to use the table widget this is the table widget if we directly drag and drop this list to the UI, automatically our system will adopt the table widget. This is the one way and this is the, this is the way generally what we use. But I will show you the uh, exact, uh, the way if we have to add the column one by one, how we can do so that you will see, you will get to know the technicality behind the screen, right? What is happening behind the screen? What our systems automatically doing? for us so let me add the table let me add the table again this is my table if you see the properties of table this is my table we have source so we'll define the source that will be get user the list show header yes if we want to show a header yes we want to show it up style class style style header style of header style of row style of row attribute an extra, extra attribute if you want to give we can provide here on sort if 
the um, column sorting um, icon is clicked then which action we need to call uh, when we drag and drop the list on the screen automatically out system handle this okay we'll see that not an issue so now there is no column right we'll have to add the column so right click to the table we can add a new column it adds a column as well as associated row i will require to add one more column one more column so name and username and email three thing i will just show here under header we'll give the header text so this will be my name insert widget and text this will be my name let me copy let me paste copy paste and paste this will be this will be my username and this will be my email now i will have to provide a dynamic expression for name here for the username here for email here so automatically out system will render all the rows uh, which is under the get user dot list if get user dot list has four row automatically out system will render this particular table rows uh, four times and each time it will show the individual row right so if i have to um, um, uh, bind the dynamic value on the ui i require expression widget so i can just drag and drop expression widget or i can just right click and add expression widget as well under the expression what we want let's see the suggestion we have a lot of suggestions here we can double click and open the expression editor and what we want under from get user from list from current from user from name we want name so it will show the name we want the same thing here as well let me drag and drop and we want get user list current username and username and here i want email get user list current user and email right so now i have my name username email available that's it my table is ready but in general we don't follow this manual approach because our systems generally uh, generally design the table for us automatically i will show you after this so let me just show you we can just go directly by clicking here because when we drag and drop the list to ui automatically it adds the table it adds the pagination functionality it adds the sorting as well what happened layer something is wrong here because this widget is not the default screen that's why it is giving i created the player screen uh, long back right long so that uh, it is it is it is just um, binded with the player screen that's why it happens no problem so let's let's wait perfect i got my list you see i have all the rows available and only three column because i have just added three column that's it now let's have a look the automatic way so let me just delete the table now you under the widget screen i just have the aggregate which is giving me the user list if i drag and drop it here automatically it adds the table it adds this sorting methods it adds the start index max max record so that this pagination is also uh, introduced automatically now let me publish you see it has added multiple things automatically this is the this is the beauty of our systems right it it provides most of the things ready made but if so by default it has added only four columns if we have to add more or if we have to remove something which we don't want here we can just delete and, uh, and remove it or else we can just add if you want to add let me show you now so now you will see the most optimized and beautified version so we have the and pagination is not working because because max record is 50 
so we have only 28 records that's why it has given all the records in one page so let me make it open so that now we will have two three pages so by default i believe by default out system fetch 50 records but we can change right if we want to fetch more than 50 or 100 records we can we can do that just provide the proper maximum record length so that's it perfect we got this pagination is also working on the second page we will have the different records on the third page we will have different records sorting is also working right that's it so this is the table widget and this is how we can use table widget that's it guys thanks for watching this video